Hello friends, today I am going to tell you another story of Panchatantra. Today's story is titled The Two-Headed Weaver. Once upon a time, a weaver lived in a village. The weaver used to make clothes and work hard day and night. Unfortunately, one day all of his equipments got broken. Weaver was then in need of woods to make new tools. He went to the jungle to fetch the woods. In the jungle, he noticed a tree whose woods were good to make the equipments. As soon as he got ready to cut the woods, he listened to a voice. Stop! The weaver said, Who is it? Who is calling me in this isolated jungle? The weaver tried to know where the sound was coming from, but he couldn't figure it. The weaver shifted his focus back to work. As soon as he lifted the eggs, he again heard a voice. Stop! The weaver gazed here and there to find where the voice was coming from. He then saw a man in a godlike figure. He requested for introduction. Who are you? What are you doing in this jungle? Can you please tell me your name? I am the god of this tree. I live here. I have been residing here since a very long time and I wish to do so for more years to come. Why do you want to cut this tree? Whichever god you are, I extend my greetings to you. I am an ordinary weaver who makes a living by fabricating clothes. The tools I used to work with got damaged. Without the tools, I can do nothing. I request you to go and reside in some other tree so that I can cut the food. I respect your thoughts. They are very noble and for the welfare of your family. You can ask me for anything in return. I will fulfill your wish. I request you to give me a day's time so that I can discuss with my family about it. Okay. You can have a day to think about it. Discuss with anyone you wish to. I will meet you tomorrow at the same time. Then you can ask me to fulfill any wish of yours. The weaver went back to his village and met his friend who was a barber. The weaver explained everything to him and asked, Tell me my friend, what should I do in such a situation? In my opinion, you should ask for a state. You can be a king while I will be your minister. Both of us will rule the state. The weaver told the barber that he will also ask his wife about the same. The barber revolted and said to him, Mark my words, brother. Women are always selfish. They never care about anything but their own benefit. You must not tell anything to your wife. The weaver ignored his advice and decided to share the incident with his wife. He went to his house and narrated everything to his wife. Now you tell me, what should I ask from the deity? You shouldn't ask for a state because the king always has to endure pain. What is the benefit if you cannot live your life happily? You do know about the sufferings of King Ram and King Nal, don't you? Okay, so what should I ask from the god? You can ask for two more arms so that you can fabricate more clothes. Due to your enhanced caliber, you will get more work and earn more money. The next day, Weaver decided to ask the same thing from the god that his wife told him. He went to the same tree and said to the god, My lord, I want to accomplish everything through hard work. I have been blessed with healthy arms and legs. It's my request that you give me two more arms and heads so that I can increase productivity and meet the needs of my family. The god smiled and replied to the weaver. Think wisely. 
you will get whatever you want, but you must make your decision precisely. Yes, my lord. You just fulfill what I have asked for. I don't need anything else. Bless you. The god disappeared after fulfilling Weaver's wish. The Weaver then turned into a man with four arms and two heads. When he reached his village, everyone presumed him to be a monster, and he got beaten up by village men. So, kids, from this story, we learn a lesson that we must make our decisions wisely. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share, and comment. And to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.